stick around because we're going to talk about all the latest news and there's a lot of it. Football Manager 2021 style. Welcome back to FM Blog, the original Football Manager YouTube channel. Now there's so much news and details that have come out about the new Football Manager 2021 over the past few days. We're going to break it down for you. I have watched both the trailers, got screenshots of everything, every little detail that I think is the most interesting, all the updates, the new features, every little thing um, that's there basically. So yeah, it's going to be a breakdown video, but don't forget guys to like the video, subscribe if you're new, it really helps the channel out. It's out on November the 24th and if you want to buy it, head on over to the website. We've got one of the cheapest prices through our affiliate link in the world, to be honest with you. The link is a handy link in the video description as well. I think it's like £26 in the UK. Now let's get started over the past few days there's been a lot of football manager 2021 news coming out across social media twitter if you're not on twitter what why get on twitter follow football manager on twitter a lot of this stuff breaks there first head on over to youtube get yourself subscribed to the football manager youtube channel this is where they are releasing the juicy goodness, okay? One day ago, you can see we've got a Football Manager 2021 new headline features video. Go out and check that out. That is a beautiful thing in itself. Also, four days ago, they released their new features preview. Obviously, previously to that, we've had the trailer. So go ahead and follow them on Twitter. Follow them on YouTube. That is where you're going to get the real skeleton of this information now i've watched both of these which i'm sure you have as well i picked up some things which i'd like to talk about in this video some screenshots some of the things which i think are quite juicy heading in to the new fm21 now first up then on my list i've got a screenshot here boom there it is xg now if you don't know what xg is I'll tell you, it's expected goals. So it's a way to analyze your, ta your tactics and how your team have performed essentially via how many goals have we scored, how many goals were we expected to score. Similarly to um, the way things work in fantasy football. I don't know if you play fantasy football, but um, I've actually recently started my own fantasy football channel. I'll put it up there if I remember. Um, but XG is quite important in determining um, a player's value in fantasy football because, yes, a player might um, get some chances, he might have a lot of shots, but an expected goal is basically like a it's like a goal, so it's it's a lot it's a lot more of a meteor, it's like a clear cut chance essentially. Essentially, it's very much like a clear cut chance in the way Football Manager twenty twenty works. You've got shots, you've got shots on target, then you've got clear-cut chance, and then you've got XG as well. Very, very exciting that they brought that into Football Manager. Just a small thing, and maybe most people might not even use it. But it is something that's very on trend at the moment, especially with all this fantasy football um, popularity that is going around. So XG makes it onto the list. I like it. Let me know in the comments. Do you like it? Do you think it's going to make any difference at all to the way you play the game next up tactical advice now it looks like from this screenshot which i've taken i think it was from the first trailer it looks like they've changed a little bit the way tactical advice works so you know before you have a game um your assistant manager comes up to you and says i think with this particular game that we've got we need to play three attacking roles two support duties and um, Aaron Wambasaka shouldn't play because he's his lack of form. Well, it looks like they've revamped that with this drop deeper 
um, picture essentially. So drop deeper comes into the way that your assistant or your team will suggest preparing the next game. I think we should drop deeper against Leicester because Leicester have pace, they've got Vardy, etc, etc, etc. You can then choose. Now, time will only time will tell whether this is a good feature because for me, it's only a good feature if it works. If your assistant manager is giving you good data, then you can accept that and you can take those decisions as gospel. If your assistant manager is giving you bad data, then it, this doesn't work. But do you have to have a good assistant? Is your assistant a poor assistant? Are they giving you dodgy advice? So it adds a bit more detail to what is already in the game for me. Um, but only time will tell, I think, with that one. Next up, something that I use quite a lot in my uh, Football Manager YouTube channel, uh, FM Wonder Kids. Again, if I remember, I'll put the link up there. But I've got a series, Wolverhampton Wonder Kids, which you may have seen every week is a season review. Now, they have revamped the season review from what we can see in this screenshot. It's got a whole new design and a whole new level of detail. So here we can see biggest win, bang. Next to highest score in match, bang. Next to goal of the season, bang. Now, I like the season reviews the way they are. They give me a decent amount of information. But give them to me better, yes, 100%, I want them better. So this, for me, is a great addition. If it's better than the one that they've got, which I like, I'm going to fall in love with it, I'm sure. Next up, recruitment. Now, it seems as if there's been a huge revamp in the way the recruitment works in Football Manager 2021. And I think... It's a long time coming. Um, a lot of the deals that you see done in real life seem to go through agents first and players first rather than through clubs. Um, so I think in FM21 and in FM22, the recruitment and the transfer landscape is going to change. So watch this space with this one here. Similarly, to, similarly leading on then to agent interaction. So looking at this screenshot here, we've got a transfer drop down and then we've gone all the way down to ask agent about availability. Now, there's a similar thing that's been in Football Manager for a couple of years, which is inquire. Inquire through the club about the players' availability, but never before have we been able to ask an agent about the players' availability. Now, for me, when I think about it, agents in the game don't actually do an awful lot and they just kind of take a little bit, I suppose it's like real life really, they don't do an awful lot, but they take a lot of money out of the deals, etc. So is this FM21 telling us that agents are going to play a bigger part in the game? I think so. I think we're going to be able to, at least going to be able to interact with agents a bit more and that's going to be a little bit in, more important when it comes to getting deals done. I like the look of that. Next up, leading on with interactions, body language. It's a brand new thing, which it looks like they're bringing into FM21. And by all accounts, from the things people have said in the two trailers, which I mentioned previously, it's going to replace tone of voice. So what do I mean by that? So, you know, in FM20, for example, when you're doing a, um, a team talk, you have the option calm, passionate, angry, etc., etc., assertive. Now, it sounds like body language is going to straight up replace that, replace the tone that you use. It's going to be open your arms, cross your arms, smile, frown. I don't know if I like this. I don't know if it's going to make much of a difference to the way I play the game. I don't know if I'm going to hate it. Maybe I will love it. But to be fair, I usually send my assistant to do these things anyway. So it's probably one of those things that you don't have to do, but you could get involved in and it could add an extra dimension to the game. 
body language is actually something that's quite interesting to me so maybe it'll be something that I get uh, something out of time will tell on this one press conferences then talking about sending assistance to press conferences these press conferences look very very different don't care my assistant will be going to every single press conference and that maybe that's just the way I am not a part of the game I enjoy change it as much as you like just please don't get rid of the skip option send my assistant do not get rid of that next and finally the licenses now we saw from the first trailer we have one license Leicester now are there more in the pipeline I think there might be more in the pipeline what do I mean by that well obviously I'm sure you know if you load a team up you load a league up the Premier League you don't have many many teams in there with the actual club badges unless you go in and you put your add-ons in your face packs etc your logo packs which aren't authorized essentially by sports interactive these are third-party deals but Leicester look like they are licensed in the game does this mean we could see Juventus return to the game does this mean we can see Man United return to the game I don't think that's going to be the case but we're certainly going to have Leicester we're certainly going to have Watford as in previous games are there going to be any more there's going to be a lot more features dropped on football manager social medias over the next few days they've said as much the game comes out on November the 24th the beta version will be out a few weeks earlier historically that is when it comes out guys do not forget we've got the best price available head on over to the website click the link in the link in the description if you want to pre-purchase the game via our affiliate that helps the channel out as well and you get the best deal available that is it for today do not forget to like and subscribe we will see you next week fm21 content will be out as soon as the game comes out and we cannot wait see you soon